Today, I want to talk about invasive ability to get you past your opponent's creatures and its land walk. It's underutilized by wizards today, but I think there's a lot you can do with it if you just know it exists. Hello, Oathbreakers, and welcome back to the channel. I am happy to have you as always. Let's get into the video content. And let's see, here we go. So I was looking at the card Concentrated Effort. It's one of many cards with this type of byline. At the beginning of your each upkeep, creatures you control gain flying until end of turn. If a creature controls have flying, the true it mm, the same is true for fear, first strike, double strike, land walk, protection, trample, and vigilance. And what really caught my attention there was the land walk. Since there's actually a lot of different types of land walk we can leverage. Now there are other cards that do this similarly, either by stealing the land walk ability of the card removed from play underneath them, or it being in the graveyard, or it just being in play like this one. So if you do get interested in building a land walk deck, there is some mileage there. But let's just go through the different types real quick. I wanted to start off with one that was just kind of fun and crazy. So Old Fogey cost 2 green mana, it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. With Phasing, Calumative Upkeep, Echo 2, Fading 3, Bands with Other Dinosaurs, Protection from Homerids, Snow-Covered Planeswalk, Blanking, and Rampage 2. Old Fogey was kind of a joke card out of Unhinged. They really wanted to just like put all of the old mechanics that they weren't using anymore kind of onto one card as a joke. I don't think they realized they were going to make protection from hominids, you know, something viable again in the newest upcoming set, so that's kind of funny to me. The big thing to notice here is that snow-covered planeswalk. It is an incredibly rare to um, have snow-covered planeswalk because it is one of the more limited types of planeswalk. It gets you almost the least amount of evasion actually because there's actually only five regular planeswalk cards in magic i want to say if we're talking about non-silver border let's get into the next one i think i might have another joke card here let's see no we have ayumi the last visitor she's one of two cards ever printed with legendary landwalk this is a mixed bag because this is almost even worse as far as having lands you can get evasion from and i guess i'll take a second to explain how landwalk works the creature is unblockable as long as your opponent fulfills a certain condition on the card. It's almost always controlling a land, but that's not 100% true. And Legendary Land Walk is very specific. Dryad Sophisticate, for one in a green, has non-basic Land Walk, which is going to be good against most EDH and Oathbreaker decks. A lot of people will, uh, who's running two or more colors will have to run some non-basic lands just to keep the deck functioning, just to get the mana base they need to use and work. I would say if it's three colors or up, you're probably good playing this. It's one of the least restrictive land walks you run into. Next, we have Giant Slug. If you pay five, at the beginning of your next upkeep, you can choose a land type and gains a land of the chosen land walk of the chosen type until end of turn. What's good about Giant Slug is with enough mana. If you have concentrated effort on the battlefield, you can actually give your creatures multiple land type abilities, so it works really well in that style of deck. Next, we have Herloom Rain Wrangler, our other <laughs> joke card from an unset. This is from the original unglued set. It is a 2-2 two -two for two and a red with Denim Walk. I have heard stories, I kid you not of people going upstairs and changing their clothes just because they didn't want to be wearing denim and taking unblockable damage while this was on the board. And that is, that is its strange requirement, is that it is unblockable as long as the defending player is wearing any denim at all. I'd also like to mention that Wrangler is a fun reference to the uh, Denim Jean Company. If you, if you don't know them, they were around when I was a kid for sure. Lord of Atlantis has one of the most common types of landwalk abilities. That's Island Walk, but I mostly put it in here to highlight the basic landwalks are the most common and also the most utilized. And there's at least one lord in each color that will give its 
type of land, like a forest walk on an elf or an island walk on a merfolk creature. So it is basic land walk. I'm not going to do a lot of examples of that because they all kind of work the same. Next we have Bectus Gloves. This is a weird one-off, but it gives a creature artifact land walk which is probably really good in certain formats, certain sets. I actually feel like it'd probably be really good playing against someone who's just dived really deep into either Mirrodin or Kamigawa for their EDH or Oathbreaker decks. It's probably not bad in modern or in, you know, a legacy format where you have uh, affinity decks and you have other type of decks that lean heavily on artifacts. So we'll just have to see on that one. And that takes us all the way around. I mean, I actually grew up with a lot of Landwalk abilities. And I didn't find them to be that broken. Uh, most Landwalk abilities were replaced either by Fear or Intimidate later on. Because I think they felt it was too powerful. I don't really think it is. But they also may have felt that the term Planeswalk and there being Planeswalkers in the game might cause some confusion. So I think that is a definite possibility. I did read an article that kind of supported that to an effect. Um, I want you guys to let me know if I missed any Landwalk abilities or if there's any other cards you would suggest for a deck like this. Like I said, I just found Conse Consecrated Effort and it put me down the rabbit hole. Well, I'm very happy you guys took the time to uh, stop by. My patrons are going to be up here on screen. My YouTube subscribers are below. Uh, lately, I've been going like up two and down one and up three and down three. So I haven't had much chance to change it because it's been changing a, just even day by day. It's getting a little too hard to keep up with. But if you do want to be on this scroll, please remember to subscribe to the channel, especially if you made it this far into the video. I do want to hear what you guys have to think because this is a new video style I am trying. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I just want to thank you once again for stopping by.